going to show you how to connect to this Omron K6EM motor condition monitoring product from your laptop, but remotely through the cloud. Now I'm not going to show you step by step how to get through all the software and all the menus and setting up of IP addresses. I'm going to assume that you already know how to do a lot of that and know how to install the software and, and all the building blocks that it takes to put this together. But what I am going to show you is the overall process and putting all those building blocks together and what the gotcha is at the end in order to make it work. So the first step is to make sure that your laptop can connect and use the software to the K6CM. Notice here that there's the default IP address of the K6CM and I have the laptop on a subnet that matches it. So the first three octets are the same, 192, 168, 250, and then I've chosen the last octet to be different. So when I go through the device uh, setup in the Omron's motor condition monitoring software, I select the NIC card on my computer that has that IP address and it connects just fine. Once we've done that, we know the software is working, we know the ethernet cable is working, we know certain IP addresses are correct, like this one right here. So the next step then is to set up an MB net. In this case, I'm using an MB net mini, which has Wi-Fi and will connect up to the cloud that way. So we connect an ethernet cable from the LAN on the MB net mini into the K6CM. Now from the software that is on my laptop using MB's uh, Connect software, I have to configure the MB net and I port that over into the MB net using a USB stick and that configures the MB net. Once that is configured, it's going to connect to the guest Wi-Fi or whatever Wi-Fi you configure it to work with. That has to be 2.4 gigahertz, not a five gigahertz Wi-Fi and you're probably going to configure it DHCP rather than a static IP address. Of course, if you have a, a unit that has a, uh, a WAN on it, it can also be used with an ethernet cable. In this case, I configured it with the Wi-Fi. Here is the LAN that I configured it for. So that LAN is configured for an IP address that matches the static IP address on the K6CM. You can see it has the same three octets as what I had on my laptop. In this case, it's dot .100 instead of dot .99. So the next step is that I can then connect my laptop to the Wi-Fi and the software, the MB Connect software on my computer can connect to the cloud. Of course, I could do that over an ethernet cable as well. Now I'm using a different uh, Wi-Fi connection, a different ethernet connection. So now I have a different IP address here on my laptop. Notice it is not the same three first octets as the uh, 192.168.250. That won't be an issue. That will resolve itself in a moment. So once I have that connected and I tell the software to turn on the VPN, I know I'm connected in the software because it goes uh, and turns into a, an orange color. Now I can go back into the Omron motor condition monitoring software and this time when I go to connect I'm not using the same uh, IP address, the same Ethernet connection. I'm using one that is actually set up by the MB Connect software. Uh, it's not particularly obvious that it's set up by MB Connect but you see this Windows adapter here and it has a name MB Dialog. So that's the MB Connect line software. So I'm going to use that and that is setting it up for DHCP. It goes up through the cloud and now that creates a connection all the way to the K6CM. But it's using this Ethernet connection instead of the one I had been using previously that is the key. So this is how you get to that screen via device settings or this icon in the motor condition monitoring tool. It opens up this dialog box here, but this right here is the important part where you click on that and that goes into that window that I was showing you on the screen here. This is showing a summary and how the what the differences are between the two. And from there, everything should be just fine.